Are you tired of clunky online OCR tools that drain your resources and compromise your privacy? What if I told you there's a powerful open source AI model that can extract text from images directly on your own PC, even if you're running on a PC with limited resources? Get ready to unlock the potential of Microsoft's Fee 3.5 Vision, an AI model specifically optimized for efficient local OCR text extraction. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and use it step by step. Fee 3.5 is designed to be lean and mean, meaning it can run on your everyday PC without needing a super power GPU or a ton of RAM. If you've got limited resources or you just want to keep your data local, this is the solution you've been waiting for. We'll cover everything from downloading the model and setting up the necessary environment to running the Python code that will show just how it works. I'll also give you some practical examples so you can see how accurate and efficient this model is. By the end of this video, you'll be able to turn any image into editable text right on your own machine. Let's get started. First, we will set up a Python environment for our application using VS Code and Conda. See our previous video for more details on how to get started with these applications, link in the description below. Hint, when you open Visual Studio Code, be sure to run as an administrator to allow access to the cache directory you will be using later. We start by creating a new environment using Conda, naming it Phi Vision. We use Conda Forge as the source for our packages as it has a large selection of packages and versions. Next, we activate or start up the environment. Then, we install a few packages, including Pillow for image processing and Hugging Face Hub for downloading our model locally. We have an NVIDIA GPU card on our PC so we will install the GPU or CUDA version of Torch using pip. This command will set up the 2.6 version from the PyTorch repo. Then we use pip to install Transformers version 4.40.2. Other versions of this library have compatibility issues, so make sure you get this version. Installing the Flash Attention library will help speed up the model. Our code starts with some import statements. We need to convert the image file into something the model understands. We will use the pillow library for this. We also are using pre-trained models from Hugging Face, so we include these two transformers functions. If you need to convert a PDF into an image, this library can help with that. The MyTimer module is included in the repo for this demo. It is used for benchmarking runtimes. This is the function decorator we use for including the timer module. Here we have defined a function named run model that takes in three parameters, including the model we will be using with the default value that corresponds to the Hugging Face model name, and then the images and messages to use in the inference. The model we will be using today is the Fee 3.5 Vision version, which is around eight gigs in size. This model is fully capable of handling the images we will be processing. We use this class from the Transformers library. This class simplifies the process of using a pre-trained model. The class needs a model name, device type, attention setting, and since we are using custom code in this model, it also needs the trust remote code to be set to true. The auto processor loads the data preprocessor from our model. This processor helps with the image manipulation, extracting features, and tokenizing text. We pass in the model name, number of crops to use for the images, and the trust statement again. This next method will format the messages into the format expected by our model, applying our role and content template. Then we process the prompt and images and move the model to the GPU. It will return PyTorch tensors. We set the number of new tokens for the model to generate and set the sampling flag to false. Now we generate the inference output from the model, passing in our inputs and arguments. When the model is finished, we need to clean up the response and convert it back into human readable format. Finally, we print the response. We included a function to help with converting PDF documents into images, but we won't be using it in this short demo. For our first run, we will be extracting text from a receipt. We need to follow this message format, including this placeholder. To run our Python script, type in the script name and press enter. The first time we run this, the necessary model files will be downloaded from Hugging Face and stored in a local cache directory. Subsequent runs will use the cache files, skipping the download process and saving time. This download took around 20 minutes. 
While the model is running, we can see the GPU is under a full load. This PC has a GE Force 4060 card with 8 gigs of memory. Here is the cache directory that I mentioned. We open the receipt image and comparing it to the output, this looks very accurate. We can see the address, date, and items like we asked for. Also, everything in the response is organized. It was able to see the sections of the receipt and recognize the category for each section. Now we go back to the Python script and comment the previous test and uncomment the next test we want to run. This should run much faster using the cached model. This time we are asking for quotes from an image of the Declaration of Independence. We aren't testing handwritten text, so we downloaded a version with typed text. This time we give it instructions on how to format the answer. We run the code again and wait. We see the text from the document verbatim, but only the first portion, not the entire document. This is good because we asked for a quote. Also notice the image number for both documents, just as we requested. Looking at the documents, we can see high accuracy in the output response. Now we will run one more time. Here we ask for several short quotes for the Declaration of Independence. We get almost 70 quotes back. Each one matches the original text exactly. We didn't find any mistakes. Not bad for a smaller sized AI model. And there you have it. We successfully walked through how to set up Microsoft V3.5 for OCR in the Python script on Windows. We've seen how easy it is to set up, load the model, and process images to extract text. Remember, the accuracy and speed of V3.5 can be quite impressive, especially for clean, well-defined images. Now this is just the beginning. I encourage you to experiment with different image types, resolutions, and even languages to see how V3.5 performs in your specific use case. Consider building upon this foundation by integrating this into larger applications, like document processing workflows, data extraction tools, or even accessibility solutions. Don't forget to check out the code and resources linked in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment sharing your own experiences with V3.5. What kind of OCR projects are you working on? What challenges have you encountered? Let's discuss this in the comments section. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. As always, questions and comments are welcome. See you next time.